Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Another reversing the verse. In this case, we're traversing Stanton. Uh, today, we'll be going into New Babbage on the planet Microtech. And I will show you the landing zone area in case you're new to the area. Uh, don't, you know, unfamiliar with the terrain and what to look for. Uh, it's fairly simple. There's actually two landing zones currently. I don't know. They may modify it to where the other one won't count in the future. Uh, it is actually a vehicle hangar bay. So it does make a little bit of difference. Um, we're currently flying the Argo raft. This is the standard orange uh, safety, you know, orange, whatever. Argo is known for, you know, the big orange. Look at me. I'm orange attack but anyhow um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get that started here okay and microtech has popped into view we'll go ahead and uh lined up here you can see past one of the moons there's a moon in the far left over there it looks like a rainbow that's kind of sitting still if you can see it all right microtech From the beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, so we're coming in, it's daylight. This actually makes it a little more difficult, oddly enough. Uh, similar to Orson in the previous video. Uh, it is a little easier, I think, to find at night because it has the large blinky red lights. Uh, of course, out of all the landing zones, I do believe the Loreville is the easiest because it has those floating signs that actually have lights on them. Uh, and this is something I wish CIG would do more often. Uh, an advertisement of sorts that shows you where that you can land, right? Okay, so we're actually flying directly over top of it right now as we as we speak. Um, I'll go ahead and show you the other landing zone I was talking about. If you come into New Babbage from this direction, you'll notice that there's a, a small area right here. You can see my mouse, right? one two three four little circular type buildings and you actually land over here near this first one the top and there's a doorway i'm sorry a second one second in the middle yeah so there's a doorway you go up this little ramp here and this is where you actually have the uh, ground vehicle spawn right here in this one mouse is park pretty much anywhere along this ice line uh, and it recognize it as uh like when you sell a commodity, it'll recognize your ship as being stored in a uh, hangar of sorts. Uh, but this is the, uncalibrate this spool here. So this building here in the middle is the Microtech building. This is uh, where you spawn when you first wake up. If you're here, and you go downstairs and you ride a tram all the way down over here to the hangars. Uh, they can bring you back to the plaza and all this good stuff down here. But yes, basically we came in real lucky this time and we're right above the hangars currently. Bit of fly down here. Here we go. All right. Wonderful Argo rafts. Again, the uh, CIG has done really awesome. They've added some volumetric clouds to um, Microtech and it makes it look much better. I uh, can only wait to see what Herson looks like. Biometric. Oh, the biometric. Volumetric. Biometric. It reads my thoughts through my whatever. Biometric. <laughs> uh, let's get off that topic. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. Uh, this is a great big lake. You know, everybody does their ice fishing here. Their speed skating. Uh, I lied about all that. Uh, except for the landing zone, of course. It, that, that is true. It's right here what you're looking for 
uh, at night time you'll see those big red lights in the distance uh, you know a little easier to navigate I think but again like I said we did get luck we lucked out this round it brought us right to the, uh, the hangars so that's pretty cool uh, I'm not sure if those clouds or fog is actually penetrating the building I hope it's not because that would be really weird let's hope that just stays inside its container Savage Internet Spaceport. I'm just going to hold F, go up here to my screen because this graph is really cool. Click on that and there's a carrot. You're going to crash. You're going to crash. You're going to crash. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Are really sure? It looks, looks like he's having some. Uh, yeah, he's going down. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, man, he just saved that, didn't he? <laughs> okay, moving forward. We have our uh, landing bay. There it is. Circuit with a little upside down chevron out. He told me on. I'm using the uh, X56 Logitech Rhino Otas. Uh, I do enjoy it. I'm not, uh, not being. Uh, sponsored or anything by them but uh, this is one of my more favorite uh, joysticks well it's like the only joystick uh, it, it's not it's not if we don't want anyway it's not uh, it's not like the highest end right but uh, it does have a feeling that you are actually doing something with something of weighted measure uh, so you can definitely tell that you're definitely using something of it Oh, we're uncoupled. Ooh, hello. Hello, go down. There we go. Okay, so now we're down. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was so difficult. Welcome to New Babbage. Landing complete. Enjoy your freezing stay. stay. Alright, guys. Well, that was a fast clip. And, uh... If you like this, if this seemed helpful to you, you know, uh, I, I don't really want to take the pleasure out of finding stuff, you know, for the new players, but uh, if you are just at wit's end and you're scratching your head and you have no idea what's going on, you know, go ahead and like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, please hit that subscribe button. It will help me out. Uh, it shows my analyti analytics. analytics uh, is uh, pretty low right now. 1% uh, people subscribe to watch these videos. Um, hopefully I do some more stuff in the future very, very soon. Even some live streaming, hopefully within the next month or so. So, there you go. Alright, guys. Until next time. Game on.